Cause he's the right kind of lover I'll never need another show now He's got the stuff He's the right kind of lover for me Yes! Come on, Patty! Okay, so here we go with American Horror Story, y'all. All right, um, the detectives show up um, at the camp, at the, those dirty-ass tents, and the grass haven't been mauled in a long time, darling. Um, they come, and they come looking, you know, at Elsa's um, playpen, because they was like, look, what the hell is going on? Um, it's been so many damn murders in the town. There's two parents that's missing. You know, the, the freaks here on the radio that, you know, all these people missing. There's two parents missing. Um, a child missing. A girl is missing. A detective have been killed. They're trying to see what the hell is going on. Everything's being linked back to the freak show. They know that they got some shit to do with it. It was like, well, the last time we saw him, his ass was here. So what the hell is y'all doing? What kind of, what kind of, what kind of ju juke joint y'all damn running? Okay. Elsa was like, darling, <sighs> you had to whisk you onto his breath. And the twins come in, you know, they was looking for them twins. And the twins come in, it was just like, yeah, you know, very much so had him on the chest. You know, Dot is very much so stone-faced. She's going along with Elsa. You know, they ain't trying to go to jail. But the other one is very, look like she finna cry and shit. You know, that's the um, sensitive, naive one, gullible one. And, um... It was just like, um, look, he ain't fucking here, and he's dead anyway. So she was like, you cannot search my premises without a warrant. All right? Mm, they very much so got one later on, but we'll get back to that a little later. Now, um, a guy comes in um, into the shop, um, assuming it's, it's Halloween, a little Halloween sh um, store downtown, probably. And um, he very much so, Mr. Hanley, Mr. Hanley, where's Mr. Hanley? All of a sudden, he sees this little toy, um, this little wind-up toy, and it's very much tracking blood. It's this line of blood. He was like, what the hell is going on? He passes on by. He see that goddamn Twisty. I believe that's the clown name. He see that damn clown. Well, he actually, he don't see the clown. Actually, the clown is very much, okay, very much stone face. just the clown was giving Beyonce realness. I, no, he was giving Cynthia Bailey realness. Real Housewives of Atlanta. Yas! That clown was stuck up on that damn wall. The guy, very much so, you know, travels a little bit down the aisle. And he sees the man, Mr. Hanley's head, very much so up for display. Who wants a head? A human head for um, Halloween. Trick or treat, bitch. Drama. Moments. And he shows out, but, but you know, of course, by that time, the clown then cut his damn head off. And, you know, two heads up for sale. Who wants one? All right. Um, they're having a little porny. You know, they're getting it in, all the freaks twerking and all that. The little lady um, with no bottom half to her body. She's very much so sliding across the damn table on a skateboard. She's surfboarding. Darling, that's where Beyonce got it from. All right, and she's just getting her life. She gets over to Lobster Boy. Um, as my boy Much Love from KY would say, the pussy hand man, <laughs> you know, I'm Jimmy Darlings, and he's just yelling. He's just like, Stop! You know, he's very much so nervous. He's ashamed. He's scared. He don't know what to do. He's scared and he's nervous in my Mariah voice. And he's just like, You know, I just killed this motherfucker. Like, I don't know what to do. Like, this is the first time I've actually killed a person. This is just crazy. I can't believe this shit is happening. Um, him, the um, transsexual, and um, the man with the little hands and the little ass arms, they very much so digging. I, I guess they put his ass in there, I'm assuming. Or, um, no, what they found was a badge. The detective badge is the only thing that they found of of the detective. I don't know what the hell they did with the body. Y'all let me know in the comments. The comments below. Alright, and that was very much so, you know, the end of that scene. And Jimmy Darlin's put the badge in his pocket. Alright, um, let's see. Gloria and Danny Mott. Um, Gloria is the, you know, the lady from last week in the red. You know, Balenciaga! You know, with the fiery red Diana Ross pussy popping hair from last season of American Horror Story, which was The Coven. 
um, and her son, who is um, just a weird child. Um, he's the only child, you know. He he just needs sister and brothers. That's all. But they very much so sitting at the damn table. Um, she wants them to eat. They don't talk to each other. I don't know where the hell the daddy is. Um, he has this old nasty swoop moment. Um, he dresses real nice, you know, good looking kid, but just crazy, just crazy, just bat shit crazy. And the mom was just like, darling, I would really, would, I would really prefer for you to eat your peas and, or whatever the hell they was eating. Um, Nora, which is played by the Patty LaBelle, shouts out to Patty, Patty, mama, Patty, guys, get them coins. We love Patty LaBelle, legendary, legend, darling, legend. Um, she comes in and she hands them, hands them something, um, to eat. <clears throat> and she was like, this little bastard getting on my nerves, this little picky, spoiled ass, and I'm getting ready to hit him upside the head. It was just moments. Patty LaBelle tells her a little later, um, after the boy stormed out because he's just bored with his life. She's like, um, very much so. We found some teeth and some damn hair. Um, one of Tamar's wigs. Um, what well, there was actually Nene's teeth, like that. She found some teeth and some hair and some chains and shit behind the fridge, and she was like, you know, the neighbor's cat went missing, and we think that darling, he has something to do with it. And she was just like, not my son. My son would never do such a thing. Craziness, right? I know, right? All right. Um. <laughs> Tits on a sling, okay? We meet Desiree, Desiree Dupree, okay? Which is played by Angela Bassett and her husband, Dale, the strong man. Angela Bassett, child, did y'all see that scene where she was giving um, those little white boys what they can feel, giving them in bold realness? Giving him something he can feel. Giving him, giving him, giving him, giving him. I was like, come on, Angie. Angela was giving them little white boys something they can feel. Uh, they weren't ready for that. They weren't ready for a bitch with tits and a dick. What? Get into it, all right? Angie was giving them moments. She was just like, I'm just getting ready to give you what you really been waiting for. I say, God damn, God damn. Um, Angela Bassett very much so showed up. She told um Elsa's ass, "Look, I got what she said. She said I got three tits, lady parts, and a dingling. What you gonna do with me?" Elsa was like, "Well, I'll be damned." Bitch was speechless, but she was just like, "Um, I have nothing for you. They're very much so maxed out. Nobody's looking for that." Um, the Dale guy ended up. You know, kind of making a little deal with her. Um, she was just like, look, you're a strong guy. You're a strong man. It's, you know, people are coming for us because we freaks or whatever. And, you know, we can use your strength around, you know, to beat a couple of people up. Knock a couple of people down, all right? And so she was just like, look, you in charge of security and y'all can stay. So they ended up staying. Um, <clears throat> meanwhile, on the other side of town, Sister Gloria Mott. You know, Balenciaga. She damn um, is driving down the road and she sees the damn killer clown. Um, I guess he put the damn head of, of the guy that he killed back in the Halloween shop in his bag. And um, she was just like, look, my child. Hello. Yes. Hello. I'm looking for some entertainment for my child, my son. He's bored. He just needs a friend. And he's just looking freaky. He's just like, I ain't got nothing else to do. Hansel and Gretel is in the damn cage. I might as well put another person in there. How about it? He hops in the damn car, child. Just, bitch, what were you thinking? I don't... You see how this mug looks. I mean, for real. Do you see how he looks? He's very much so stitched together, very much so chucky. Okay? And you just didn't, and you just inviting this clown for your grown ass son. He's not even a child. Like I don't where is this child's father? Where is this this boy's father? Like it's ridiculous. He needs help. Alright, um, the damn strong man Dale have an exchange with the bearded lady, Ethel. 
and uh, Ethel Darlings, um, Pussy Hand, um, Mother, and we find out that he's actually a father of the Lobster Boy, but he didn't want to claim the Lobster Boy. Um, he was getting ready to actually kill the Lobster Boy. They showed a scene when they was younger. Um, that beard was thicker, too. Go ahead, girl. Go ahead, Kathy Bates. And um, she was just like, look, um, you put my damn son down. She put out a gun on his ass. She ain't seen his ass since. Just deadbeat ass daddies. It's crazy. It was like, he was like, look, I'm going to charge your ass now. So, bitch, you're going to do what I say. And when I say it, it ain't no damn thing you, you can do about it. All right? She was just like, what? Yeah, Elsa put me in charge. Deal with it. Mm. Child, the twins, Dot and Bet is rehearsing. Bet sounds awful. Bet is tone deaf, boots the house down. Because, you know, the twins, they have to have an act. They can't just be Siamese twins. They got to do something. I mean, after you get finished looking at somebody, you're just like, okay, that's interesting. That's cool. Wow. Now entertain me, darling. Entertain me. All right? Or to the wolves you go. So, um. Uh, so, oh my God. What? Shit. Sorry. Uh, this video is going to be long enough, so I'm not going to edit that part out. Um, anyway. Um, she was just very much like, you know, what are you going to do? Because everybody was like, look, bitch, you tone deaf. Boots the house down. Um, so, Jimmy Darlins gets up, and he's like, um, look entertain me dot because he likes dot and dot likes him or is it the other way around i think he likes dot but you know uh, lobster boy is charming you know because he's good looking but they don't know he got the mangled ass claws anyway well they know because they're the freaks anyway dot opens that damn mouth because she looks dead at um mr darlings and whatever the hell she was singing she snatched and killed it Elsa just sitting there all wrinkled up. Elsa is pissed boots because you know Elsa um, is mad because she wants to be the star. And she's she brought the twins there to, you know, make her more money, to make her a star because she would become popular. But actually, the twins don't need her to be popular. Okay? They're very much so a show on their own. And plus, one of them can sing and the other bitch can be the background to walk pop pop. They got it made. Elsa was pissed about it because she can't sing a leg. The damn Dale, the strong man, comes in. He's like, look, it's very much so this curfew. We got to have these people in here at this certain time because, you know, we need to have this freak show going. We're trying to get as many people as we can, so we need to get the people in the damn daytime in the seats. Elsa was like, no, the freaks come out here tonight. And he was just like, I don't give a damn, and it's just what it is. Elsa, this man is going to be a problem. A very a big-ass problem, strong, bald-headed, thick-neck problem. All right, um, Danny's ass, um, which is, you know, Danny, the son, the crazy son, this homosexual, um, he's very much so playing with the damn clown. Now, the clown is just sitting there just looking at his ass. Y'all know the damn clown and them teeth and just, just Chucky boots. And he's just very much so looking at this motherfucker like, just not saying a word. Danny oh, he starts playing with puppets. He's just sitting there in the chair, just looking at him like a fool. And he comes down. He was just like, he chose him. He, um, Danny shows the clown um, his toy chest. He was like, look, pick out something. The clown is excited. He sees all these fun toys, you know. Danny was like, no, you're going to entertain me. You're going to entertain me. Danny want them clown draws. I'm telling you, Danny is a freak boots. That's all he needs is a good... All Danny needs is just a good pop, and he'll be well with the world and happy and no more depressed boots. <laughs> um, so anyway, um, he meets, you know, they talking or whatever. Well, not really. Danny's talking. But um, while Danny was explaining to him the whole thing, you know, about all these toys or whatever here or how you're going to entertain me, um, he tries to reach in the clown's bag and the clown was like, Ugh. you know, he was like, get away from my bag. So when the clown is looking into the chest with all the toys in it, Danny starts to go through his bag 
and he pulls out them damn pins that, that he bops over the head with everybody. And he looks and he sees something. But he can't quite make it out what it is. And so the clown hits his ass upside the head with one of them damn bowling pins. And he walks out to the woods. Danny ass wakes up and follows him. Just the ooh. What is going on with this damn Danny? Like, I can't with him. Um, Jimmy Darling ass takes the freaks to the freaking diner where he was trying to hit on that boy and give him and and darling give her something she can feel all right i remember last episode when he was you know giving the giving the giving the women pleasure darling he takes all them freaks the little papa the little arms the lady with no cooter cat just moments and they was like what the hell it was like we ain't serving y'all freaks um, uh, damn, the a guy with the little bitty ass arms, he takes a plate that somebody, um, didn't get finished eating and takes a plate and start eating the lady with no bottom half of her body. So she has like no legs or anything is very much so saying, you know, I want the salad because I'm watching my figure. The lady looked at, but up at her from the, <laughs> the damn waitress is like figure. Oh, bitch, you tried it. You tried it all the way around. You got way too much confidence. Um, the pepper. I want meatloaf. I want meatloaf. And, the, you know, those little weird-ass looking people with the Tommy Pickles hairdo from Rugrats. Just one little spikes of hair. Craziness. All of a sudden, Dale ass shows up. He's upset. He's pissed boots as usual. Just an angry man. And he was like, did you really bring all these freaks here? You're scaring the people. You know, Dale is about making that money. He was like, look. He taking his job real seriously. I don't necessarily think that Elsa said that he can be like part owner of the shit. She just said that you can very much so be up, um, um, in charge of security. But you're taking your job a little too seriously, okay? You need to sit your little bald-headed ass down, all right? And go suck and eat Angela, okay? So, it was just crazy. Um... He gets mad at Lobster Boy. Lobster Boy stands up to him. He beats the shit out of Lobster Boy, which is, I'm sure Lobster Boy don't even know that that's his daddy. Just a mess. He's just quite the angry man. Um, Actually, earlier, um, I forgot to talk about, but um, Matt, um, he actually, or is it Danny? Danny. He went to go, he went to go talk to Lobster Boy because he wants to be a part of the freak show. He's bored. He's not booked. Um, he has all this money, but he has nothing to do. Lobster Boy was like, "You do not want to live here. Do you know what goes on here? Like, this is the last place that you want to live. Like, don't say that you want to be us. You want to do us. No, you don't. I wish I was you. I wish I had normal hands and not these damn mangled ass hands that's just used to please women. You know." I don't like that. So, um, anyway, cut to what I was getting ready to say. Um, so, Danny follows the clown into the woods. And um, Hansel and Gretel, which we're going to call them, the girl and the boy, is um, very much so trying to find a way to get the hell out. Trying to find a way to get the hell up out the piece. Um so she hides this you know piece of wood behind her or whatever she hears the clown he comes in he puts down that little toy the little wind-up toy that um was in the halloween store earlier when he killed the man and um they're just like this dude is crazy he gets in the damn cage with them and winds it up and it's just like doo -doo 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 -doo. they just looking at him like child so he leans over, looks over in his bag. That's when the girl takes the damn two by four and knocks that bitch upside the head. And his damn mouthpiece that he had, I'm assuming, attached like around his ears with string. It falls off. His teeth is all mangled and green and black. And he just looks dead. And so, you know, they runs out. All of a sudden, the girl runs into Danny ass. Danny captures her. He was like, "Look, you got to be a little bit better with 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 the with the meat. Okay, you got to be a little bit better, you know, with with trapping up the people." He's just so bored. He's just having a good time with the clown. And so I guess him and the clown is gonna become like a killing duo. 
if you will. And, you know, the clown catches the little boy and right back into the damn cages like fucking mountain lions they go. Tragic. Tragic. All right. Um, Lobster Boy comes to talk to Elsa, darling child, because he's she's just very much like, look, do you see my damn black eye? This bastard done whooped my ass at the diner. I ain't get to get no Salisbury steak, nothing. I'm upset and I'm nervous and I'm pissed off. You gonna get this bitch out of here. Elsa was like, please. I think that his tactics, his tactics, tactics, tactics is, I, I was trying to say it in the accent, won't work. His tactics He was like, look, what he trying to do, I'm for it. I'm fucking with it, all right. Um, it was just like, we need somebody to strong him, like him, around us. We all just scapegoats, us freaks. The first thing the cops are going to come to is us. Jimmy Darling was like, look, um, well, the shade is that you really actually don't lead, need him because I'm strong. I'm all the man you need around here. I'm all the security you need. He shows her the badge um, of all of what was left of um, Detective, Mr. Detective Boots. She was just like, oh my. He was like, did you do this? She was like, yeah. And then he pulls out um, the flyer. Um, and it very much so said at the bottom, you know, that the who owns it or whatever is like Elsa. And then it had like his name or something. It had like Jeep the Freak geek the freak something like that and she was like oh hell no he's trying to damn take over he wants he wants parts of these circus coins and she was like oh darling he has to go so we get to the actual um circus and the strong man he he knows some he got some business skills like he he was up on his promoting and he got people in the seats say what you want to say but he got people in the seats Dot and Bet is performing. Bet looking all scared. Dot singing her ass off. Just giving. I've been a bad, bad girl. I was like, sing, Dot, with your mean ass. Sing. Dot was singing. Elsa in that tired ass blue temptation suit. Just sitting back looking, hating. You know, Elsa was Elsa was pissed boots because she that she wants she want to be them. She want that to be her. She want the people to be ranting and raving and clapping and standing oh and over her. And you know, it's all about the twins. So um, a little later, um, Elsa goes into the damn twins room. It's dark boots. Goes into their tent, I should say. And uh, whispering to Bet, the naive one, and just very much like, um, I came to congratulate you on your performance. You guys did good. Bet was like, she did good. I didn't do anything. I felt so embarrassed. I wanted to run off stage. It was very much so. This bitch stuck to me. So she's saying she's giving you Mariah, and I'm giving you fucking Brittany. And it's just like, they want to hear her. She's just like, no, that one is evil, your sister. Who cares if she's mad at you? You cannot let her be into control. She was she was just putting all these bad things in her ear about her sister. Her sister very much so woke up and was like, tell that bitch we'll see her tomorrow. Elsa was just upset about it. She was just like, no, I wish I would let this half a bitch come over here and steal my shine and take my show. Um, is it me or did Bet look like she was finna stab her sister like she did the mama? Then she pull out the damn scissors. They love scissors on this season. A clown has scissors. Just scissors, 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 scissors. Jimmy Darlin's having a fit, child. He's stretched out all on the table, drunk in love, mad because he can't screw Dot without screwing bed. And, you know, he's upset. He was just like, look, the strong man got to go. Um, also, the detectives came by. And, um... They very much so planned, Elsa, Jimmy, all of them planned to set the Dale up, um, Angela's man, the strong man, Lobster Boy Daddy, to set him up because they wanted him to leave because he's just crazy. He beat the shit out of um, Lobster Boy just like it was nothing. And so they put the badge, the detective badge, in his trailer so that when the detectives come, they very much so see that it was his ass that did it.
or it would look like that anyway. Elsa was like, look, his, his damn trailer over there, Angela coming out, Ike, Ike, moments, <laughs> memories. Um, so they, but they showed a scene of Lobster Boy putting the um, badge into the trailer, but they very much so, but, but the bald headed man, which is, you know, the strong man, they show him looking at Lobster Boy putting the stuff in the trailer. So they tried to flame, frame him or whatever, and it didn't work. Um, I think that the, one of the little pepper guys, one of the little crazy looking things, um, since the, the man, Dale, since he knew about it, he put the um, badge um, up under the little pepper. I guess he was sleeping in there. I, I guess Angela gave him something he would never forget and it very much so looked like the little the little gremlin thing did it so they took the little gremlin thing to jail he crying and upset child the prison is like we're gonna get you we're gonna take you we're gonna do things to you child after l after lobster boy and his mama bearded lady ethel got into it he runs out the tent a truck comes by he drops some off that looks like a big um, tortilla. He very much so unfold that bitch, take the rope off, and there is the little gremlin dude. They done beat the shit out of him and killed him. And now Lobster Boy really finna go off because all he ever wanted, all he ever wanted is to just be treated the same like every other person. But, you know, in this time, in this, in this story, it's just not gonna happen. Now, that was my review of American Horror Story Season 4, The Freak Show, Episode 2. Yes, God. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe, like, share, retweet, comment. <sighs> All the good stuff. Yes, yes, yes. It's getting good. It's getting good. It's getting good. Three tits, lady parts, and a diggling. What more could you want?